Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Automation Test Insider. So this is part 12 of Jira series and today we are going to talk about how we can end or how we can complete the sprint cycle in Jira. So generally what happens is once our release process is over, once our sprint cycle is done or once we deploy the milestone into production, then we have to officially close the sprint cycle in Jira so that we can start working for the next milestone or next sprint cycle, right? So that is what we are going to discuss today like how practically we can close the sprint cycle once it is done then how we can start for the next milestone or sprint cycle right. So I will show you practically how we can end the sprint cycle once our uh, development process is done once testing is done and once we deploy the milestone suc successfully into the production how we are going to close the sprint cycle. So let me directly take you to my uh, Jira account where we'll. Uh, where I'll show you practically how we can achieve that, right? So this is my Jira account guys and uh, let me quickly recap. So we have created the project my new project underscore company managed and MC is the project key and in inside this timeline tab you'll see the sprint which we have created MC underscore sprint and here you'll see the the timeline as well. So two weeks sprint which we have created and here you'll see different releases like what are the different epics we have which we have created so we can see login page development there are four items are there and you will see the green uh, color here so that is the progress of whatever the the user stories are done so you can see one out of four is already done right if you go to backlog here you will see uh, the cycle which we have created mc underscore sprint one so you can see here mc underscore sprint one and these are the dates which we have selected uh, uh, for this sprint cycle right and if you expand it here you will see all the user stories over here right uh, some of them in done status some of them in in progress and some of them in QA and to do status as well if you go to active sprints so you will see here the progress like what are the different like what are the different status we have as part of the workflow you will see the items over here so let me come back to this backlog and Let's assume, right, our all the items are done for this sprint, MC underscore sprint cycle, right? Because our sprint cycle is over, so all the items should be done by this time, but by the end of the release cycle. So if you see this right side, you'll see this complete sprint button, right? So the user who has the permission to access this button will be able to only see this button enabled, right? the user who has admin permission or the user who has these uh, manage sprint cycle uh, permission we'll talk about the permission later on in upcoming videos so if you click on this complete sprint so you'll see complete mc underscore sprint one the sprint contains two completed issues and five open issues why because some of them are in progress some of them are uh, are in qa like that so that's the reason to only two are done status so that's uh, that's what it is showing two completed issues only so let me cancel it for now and let's assume all the items are done for this uh, milestone or sprint cycle so simply you can uh, change the status from here or you can go to this active sprint and you can simply simply drag it to the done status so it will be automatically done so if you go to yeah if you go to backlog again you will see all these items are done now if i click complete so it's still now you can see five completed issues and two open issues cancel it again and this let's say this is also done and another we have one more user story for this is also done now you can see one more item this one is also done so all the items are done for this particular sprint mc underscore sprint one right now if i click on this complete sprint you will see complete mc underscore sprint one all items are done the sprint contains seven completed issues that's all of them well done simply click on this complete sprint it will complete the sprint cycle right now you can see mc underscore sprint 2 is showing over here now we need to simply drag the items from backlog and you will see 
items over here so if you go to timeline you will see this mc underscore sprint is done and another sprint is there uh, it will show in this march uh, this one right timeline active sprint nothing is there because we are not working we have not started the next sprint so simply go to backlog and uh, you can simply drag the items whatever pending items are there in the product backlog to start the new sprint and then you can see this start sprint button will be enabled as soon as you drag the items to this mc underscore sprint to cycle so this is all for today guys and uh, you can again create another sprints as well from here so this is all for today so i wanted to discuss about how we can complete the sprint cycle in jira and we already we have discussed right how we can start the new sprint in previous videos so that's all for today so let me know if you have any further questions or if you have any concerns in the comment section of this video and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos thanks a lot bye bye